this is Lizzie. Today I have this fun, colorful encouragement card that features the new My Lucky Charm stamp set. So the main supplies that I'll be using for this card are of course the My Lucky Charm stamp set. This set has a lot of really adorable images. I especially love the kitty cat, but I'll be using the clover images as well as one of the sentiments for this card. The coordinating dies, the Let's Polka and Let's Polka Mon Ami paper pads. I'll be using several patterns out of each set uh, paper pack. I'll be using the stitched rectangle dies, several of those dies to just create a little bit of extra detail on the card, and several of the new Lawn Fawn inks. So I'm going to start here by making my background. I'm spreading some green ink and then some blue ink on a craft mat. I'm going to spritz it with water and then I have a piece of watercolor paper that I use one of the larger stitched rectangle dies to create the front of my card and then I am just, as you can see, tapped it into the ink and then I'm going to tap a dry paper towel just to remove a little bit of that ink. I wanted a little softer look. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'll go ahead and heat set it with my heat tool. So after drying it, it was a little bit more green than I had wanted, so I'm going to use that blue mermaid ink and spritz it again with water, and then just use that single ink to again tap the watercolor paper into, and then it'll just add some blue color on top of that green that we had done earlier. And again, I will go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool. Alright, so this is how the background turned out. I wanted everything in that bottom corner in order to help with my design, help to highlight that bouquet of clovers. So in order to make that bouquet, I'm going to pick out several pieces of patterned paper from each paper pack, some blues and some greens, and then once I decide on the patterns, I'll go ahead and stamp out the large and small clover images with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and then I will use the coordinating dies and run that through my Big Shot. In order to create the idea of a bouquet, I thought the coordinating die for the horseshoe image would make the perfect base. So to do that, I'm using some blue patterned paper and a vellum overlay just to mute the color a bit to create the water inside the base. I'll actually be using just the inside part of that die, which I'll cut out with a pair of scissors, and then I'm going to inlay that into a vase that I create out of some white cardstock. So here you can see how that water will fit inside the base. Now to finish up my die cutting, I'm going to die cut a small stitched rectangle out of some vellum just to help make the base and the bouquet pop a little bit from the card so it doesn't quite blend in so much to the background, it stands out a little bit. And then I'm just kind of arranging things, trying to figure out the placement of everything. And I felt like I needed a horizontal piece on the card in order to ground the bouquet. So I'm using this stitched die from that fence die set and I'm just cutting I cut it out of some stripe pattern paper and then I thought the card needed a little bit of color, a little bit different than the blues and the greens. So I had this washi tape lying around. I thought it would be a nice complement to the cool colors. So now that I have all the pieces of the card, I'm going to start assembling.
So now that all the main elements are adhered, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my good luck sentiment using some of the new Lawn Fawn Black Licorice ink. It's a really nice crisp ink. I really, really like it. And then uh, for uh, just a few finishing touches, I'm going to add these clear sort of rhinestones in the middle of the clovers just to look so they look a little bit more like flowers. Just adhering them with some glossy accents. I went ahead and finished the card by mounting it on some pink cardstock to coordinate with the washi tape that we had used. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make this card. I am sure anyone would feel encouraged to get a vase full of lucky four leaf clovers. Thanks so much for watching! See you next time!